Since medicine motion is lotion, right, Matt? Yep. Yep. All right, Coach Kim and Matt, we're going to give you um, a great full body workout. We're going to do three dynamic stretches, four exercises for two rounds, and then two exercises on the floor for the core. So all you need is Vibe does sell these uh, flat loop bands, or if you have a band with handles and a pair of dumbbells. So with that said, Matt, let's go ahead and get started with these dynamic stretches. So just follow along with Matt and I. This is our first workout together. So Matt, we're gonna time it. You don't have to think, you don't have to count, you just need to move. The first one's gonna be an alternating toe touch and it's your opposite hand, opposite toe. Okay, ready? Here we go, 20 seconds. Kick it up, that's it. And again, straighten that leg out the best you can. You're gonna feel this in the back of the leg. And sitting is the new smoking. Remember that, so it's really important that we stretch and move our bodies every day. You've got 10 more seconds. Kick it out, that's it. You'll feel that. If you can't touch your toe, that's fine. And rest. The next one is going to be hip internal external rotation. So imagine this, Matt. If you have a gate, I'm going to unlatch the gate. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to open that gate all the way up, touch the ground, and then I'm going to close that gate back up. Got it? 20 seconds. Ready? Here we go. Lift up. And this is really great for the hip. And lift and lower. That's it. Ups. 20 seconds each leg. You got to keep that blood flow going, keeping things moving. There's a lot of truth to that saying that I like to say, movement is medicine, motion is lotion. And let's go ahead and switch sides when you're ready. 20 seconds each side, roll it out, and then roll it back. So unlatch the gate, drop it back, and then close the gate. So open, you're halfway. Yeah, it works a little balance too, doesn't it? it does, yeah. And then bring it back and rest. Chest expanders. You're gonna put your hands facing each other, arms straight out in front of you. Palms face each other just like this. And you're gonna come out and do what's called a chest expander. Bring your arms back, excellent. 20 seconds, back and forth. Now on this chest expander, he's gonna feel this open up his chest and shoulders. Let's move this way a little bit. He's gonna pinch his upper back where he's gonna pretend there's a walnut back there and you're cracking it. Great for posture as well. So if you're sitting at your desk a lot, take a couple minutes and do this. Every hour you need to get up for three to five minutes and move your body. So this is a really good one to do. There you go, pinching that upper back and rest. Good. All right, now we're gonna get to the meat and potatoes of the workout. We're gonna start. Matt's gonna use a pair of eights. Again, if you're new to exercise, just use threes or fives to start. It's gonna be two movements combined together for 40 seconds followed by a stretch. So it's gonna be a lateral lunge to a hammer curl. So Matt, you're just gonna lateral lunge it to the side Come back up, hesitate, and then hammer curl, like hold that weights like a hammer, and we're alternating. Ready, go. So alternate. he's, yep, yeah, alternate. So it was lunging, come back up, and hammer curl, come back down. Good, take your time. So he's lunging, notice how one leg is straight, one leg is bent, and he's holding the weights like a hammer, hammer, so the palms aren't up. He's pushing off with that bent leg, and notice how both feet are facing in the same direction, you're halfway. So one leg is straight, one leg is bent, and it's two moves. So it's a tua, not a witha. So see the hesitation? Then he goes to it. You've got 10 more seconds. Excellent job, Matt. And keep in mind, this is his first time doing this with me. You know, besides our little preview practice. And up, rest. Good, I'll take those weights from you, Matt. We're gonna do a nice quick stretch. So I'm gonna have you do what's called a number four stretch. So on the number four stretch, you're gonna take one foot on top of the other push down the bent knee and just marinate in that for about 10 seconds. So he's gonna put one foot on top of the other, push down the bent knee. And if you have to hold on to a wall or a chair, that's fine. Yeah, or me, hold on to me. I get held on all day long. Push down that bent knee and notice his hips are a little bit tight. I don't know if you knew your hips are tight, Matt. And then we're gonna switch sides. Go ahead and switch. See if this side's a little better. Yep, and push down the bent knee. You're gonna feel it right through here. And some people do this when they're seated in a chair as well. And hold that right there. That's five, four, three, two, one. And I spoke to Matt earlier in our session and said, what's your goal um, for fitness training? What would you like to see happen? And he mentioned flexibility is probably number one, wouldn't you say? Yeah. With what you're in, obviously aging well and staying healthy and building strength. So you got to think, what is your why? It's not your willpower that gets you here. It's your why power that keeps you here. All right, we're going to do what's called a band pull apart. So you also mentioned you have a little shoulder bursitis, and this is great for posture. He's going to put his hands out straight. You can use a regular resistance tube or one of these bands, right? He's going to grip and squeeze his upper back and then bring your hands together. Okay, ready? And go. Pull apart. 
called a band pull apart. I love this one. So many people are slumping over with all the tech neck and all the computers and all the sitting. So it's really important to do this. It's not a muscly exercise. It's more of a therapy type move. And if it's too easy, get a thicker band or just grip it a little closer. Good. Relax your neck so you're not all hunched up there. You're halfway. So we're doing 40 seconds of work. And again, this is a bonus. It's gonna help with that shoulder, with the shoulder stuff going on. 10 more seconds. And you could do this workout. Start off if you're new, maybe every other day or three times a week, and you'll work, you can work up to doing this every day. One more, one more, one more. Rest, good, I'll take that band there. Perfect, tuck the chin, interlace your fingers, Matt, and separate your shoulder blades and just push your hands away from you. And you're gonna feel, just separate all that stuff up in their scapula area. And that's five, four, Three, two, now lift your hands straight up, 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 push them up to the ceiling, reach up, reach up, reach up, a couple more seconds, that's five, four, three, two, rest. How are you feeling? Good? Feeling good. Okay, sumo squat to high pull. If you've never done this before, I suggest a lighter weight because this is one that tends to make people pretty sore. You're gonna have your feet nice and wide, wide, wide. Toes slightly pointed out, sumo style just means your feet are out wide. Okay, so a lot of inner thighs. Your palms are in towards your body, your head is forward, you're gonna perform a squat going down slow and then a quick pull up, yes, just like that. Ready and go. Squat down and a quick high pull right there. It doesn't, yeah, just bring the weights. Perfect. So the squat part is obviously working the quads, the hammies, the glutes, and keeping them wide, inner thighs. And who doesn't like working those inner thighs? The high pull is working a lot of the upper trap here. And if this weight's too heavy, we can always lighten it up. You're halfway. Quick pull, and I like how he's keeping the weights close to his body, and he's not looking down at his feet. And make sure you breathe and never hold your breath. Pull it up, go down slow, quick pull. We've got time for one more there, Matt. And yes, now we hold a lot of stress and tension in the neck area, so this is gonna be the stretch I'm gonna have you do. You're gonna put your left hand behind your back like here, put your right hand on your head, and you're just gonna tilt it to the side. Now you're not moving the whole body, just the neck. Hold it right there. That's five, four, three, two, one. And then switch, put your other hand behind you. And again, just stretching, gentle stretch for the neck. Doesn't that feel pretty good? Yep. Yep. Got to make time for you. If you don't make time for your wellness, you'll be forced to make time for your illness. You ever heard that one? No. Oh, now you have. <laughs> All right. So I'd like you to stand sideways for me, Matt, so people can see how you're going to have that happy, beautiful hinge. This is two movements again. It's called a good morning to a tricep kickback. Your feet are going to be hip width. Your elbows are locked into your side. Velcro them. Velcro them. See how my arm's at a 90 degree? Feet in a little closer. Yes. So two moves. You're going to stick your butt back and hinge at the hip, and then you're going to kick it back, bring your elbows in, and then up. So two moves, ready, here we go. Soft knees, hinge, kick, in, and up. Yep, clock is on, hinge, kick. So the hinge is working what's called your posterior chain, which is your hammies, your glutes, your lower back, and that nice little kick is getting the triceps, the rear part of your arms there. That's it, I heard some Rice Krispies. Just means we're alive. It's a great day to be alive, right? Yep. There we go, up. And you're gonna hinge and kick. And no matter what age you are, this exercise thing is great for you. So no excuses. Age doesn't stop you, excuses do. Right, Matt? Yeah. Last one and perfect, great form. Good, so we've done one round of the exercises. We're gonna finish with this little stretch. Then we're gonna repeat everything we just did. So pretend you have an itch on your back. Yeah. This gets all three heads of the tricep and just gently hold that stretch. And those of you that play pickleball, you know, squash, racquetball, tennis, golf. These are good stretches too. Go ahead and switch up. Go the other side. There you go. I was a racquetball player growing up. I don't know if people play racquetball anymore. No, it's kind of, that, that went out in the 80s. Yeah, well, what's out in the 80s, pickleball's in, that's for sure, especially in our neck of the woods. Go ahead and rest up. We're starting again with a lateral lunge to a hammer curl. So if your knees are a little bit cranky, remember, you don't have to dip as far. So some people with cranky knees, just step and come up and hammer curl. Okay, ready? Remember, we're alternating. So pick a side, ready, go. That's it, one weight on the outside of the knee. Hammer curl, alternating. One leg straight, one leg bent, perfect. That's it. And these, you're working large muscle groups, so it's very normal if your heart rate's really ticking, okay? Anytime you're doing these leg moves, such as the sumo squat and the lateral lunge, you're halfway, halfway. 
We're doing two rounds of 40 seconds, followed by some flexibility in between. That's it. 10 more seconds. Healthy heart to happy heart, right? It's important to do strength training and cardio and rest, good. And especially it's important to do strength training as we age. And Matt and I are both in our mid 50s and you know what, by your eighth decade of life, you've lost half of your muscle. I don't know if a lot of you don't know that, but after the age of 30 is when we start, it starts tanking. I, I believe it's three to 5% every decade, but it's really critical that you lift, use the bands, the TRX strap, uh, body weight exercises, or um, the dumbbells, the free weights. Okay, so we're gonna do a little stretch. This time, instead of doing the number four stretch, you're gonna put your fingers facing down, put your hand here and pull. And this is a great stretch, people with carpal tunnel, we did um, the bicep curl, so that's why I'm doing them here. Now you're gonna put your hand up like you're saying stop to the margaritas, and then grab your hands and pull back this way. Yep, great stretches. Again, for everybody that plays those uh, gripping, the sports that you grip. Then your other hand down, fingers down. The other hand, yep, yep, yep. And if you have fine motor movements, people play piano, you sew, put your other hand up, these are great stretches. Pull back, gotta take care of your hands, your arms, and then just give me what's called a blinker. Blinkers, blinkers, gotta take care of those hands. It helps with arthritis. All right, band pull-aparts. We're gonna grab the band. Remember the closer the grip, the harder. Yeah. Arms straight out, soften the knees, and bring it out and pinch that upper back. Perfect. You're gonna start adding into this regular routine here, 40 seconds. Great form. And what's nice about these pants, they're portable. You, there's no excuses. They fit on your carry-on. Yes, it's just a matter of using them. So all you gotta do is pack it and then use our videos. Follow us. You're halfway. And we all wanna sit up a little taller, right? Of course we do. I've noticed slumping with all ages, young people all the way up. So it's really, really important that we focus on that posture. Eight more seconds. Another one. And rest, good, let's go back to that stretch we did earlier, which was where you tucked your chin, interlace your fingers. You know, motivation is what gets you started, but habit is what keeps you going. Lift your hands straight up. So it's a matter of just creating that habit of moving your body, do something every day. Reach, 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 five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, sumo squat, we're going back, feet wide, toes slightly pointed out, palms are in towards your body, or your palms, in towards your body, you're gonna squat and then quick high pull. Ready, go. That's it. Just like we brush our teeth every day, you create that habit. Same thing with exercise and walking is fabulous. You combine a good strength training program with walking, biking, swimming. How fabulous you would feel. 150 to 300 minutes a week of cardio, two to three times a week of weights. Mwah! Every cell in your body will thank you and mentally and physically you'll feel better, I promise. You're halfway. That's it. The hardest part is showing up, but I've never in 36 years heard anybody say, I wish I didn't work out today. 10 more seconds. And that includes you too, Matt. Yeah. Don't you, aren't you glad you showed up? I am. <laughs> and rest, very nice, good. So we'll go ahead and put that down. Whoops, excuse me. There you go. All right, let's stretch those hamstrings for a sec. I'd like you to put the right leg out, bend the back knee slightly, keep the leg straight, Hinge at the hip and you're gonna feel this stretch the hamstring. Now tight hammies and tight hips contributes to back pain. So it's really important we take care of that. And then switch sides. There you go, flex that foot towards you. Hold it, that's five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now the good morning to a tricep kickback. Do you remember it? He's gonna hold the weights, let's stand sideways so people can watch your form here. Your feet are gonna be hip width, lock the elbows in. It's the one where you're gonna hinge at the hip, soft knees, and then you do the little kick, and then bring it in and up. So two moves, okay? Feet hip width, elbows are Velcroed. You're gonna hinge, then kick, in and up. Perfect, clock is on. So hinge and kick, that's it, beautiful. Hinge and kick. And always focus and think about the muscles you're working, you'll work it that much more. And as I mentioned before, the hinge is working this whole posterior chain and that little kick is working the back of the arms. And I like how you're squeezing it for a full second when you go back there. Mm -hmm. You're not thinking about any ball game that's on TV tonight or what's for dinner. We are thinking about the muscles we're working. That's it, 10 seconds. 
And this sleep thing, it does. It helps with stress. It helps you sleep better. Helps make your work days more productive. You've got one more, one more, one more, one more. And it's beautiful. Okay, Matt, we'll go ahead and put those weights down. Cup your elbow, yes. And this is more of a deltoid stretch, kind of getting all of it. Hold the stretch right there. Good. So I hold about five, 10 seconds. And then we'll go ahead and switch sides. That's it, hold it right here. And a couple more seconds. And I actually have one more stretch I'd like to do with you because I meant your flexibility is your thing and this is a great one. Put your hands behind you, connect your fingers, lift them up. Elaine LaLanne, Jack LaLanne's wife is now 98 years old. He's the godfather of fitness who passed away when he was 96, I believe. Yep, take your head and roll it from left to right. She likes to say, if you don't move, you become immovable. In a day without exercise is merely a day. Up and roll. Such wise advice. And she works out every day for 20 minutes, 98 years old. We have no excuses, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have you on your back. All right, so Matt, we're getting ready to do a core block of two exercises, the dead bugs, and we're gonna do two rounds of that with a little stretch and then the kneeling bird dog. So get a mat, so, uh, or huh, your mat, I'm saying get a mat. I got a mat right here. <laughs> but make sure that you have a beach towel or, or just if you're some carpet, some, something underneath where you're comfortable. This one does work your brain, so let's get ready. Your legs are gonna go up at a 90 degree, see that? And the legs aren't sagging, so keep them up. The hands are facing each other with the arms straight above the chest. The head is relaxed. I love this one because you're working the core without aggravating your neck or lower back. So it's a really great one. So opposites, left arm, right leg are gonna go back and keep them straight. Ready, here we go, Matt. Arm straight, then bring it back up, alternate. Excellent, good. So 40 seconds and try to maintain keeping that back nice and flat. This is working that whole rectus abdominis. And I like it because it's giving that stretch with the hip and the arm at the same time. It is one of my favorite ab exercises. Very nice. And it works for most gestures, most everybody. Keeping that back flat. There you go. I think getting on and off the floor is probably the hardest part. So make sure you have a chair or something nearby so you can get on and up. 10 more seconds. Reset, reset, yep. And then goes back. And let's hug both knees to chest. Connect your fingers, nice tight ball. And this feels really good on the spine. And I personally like to, to stretch the abs after, I mean, uh, stretch the back after doing the ab work. Perfect. Let's go ahead and put the feet down. A little knee drop to the side. Drop your knees gentle. And then again to the other side. Now this is for the lower back. I'm just doing a quick little stretch before we go into our second set. And again, flexibility was one of uh, Matt's goals here. Go to the other side. And you could do flexibility stuff every day for sure. Okay, legs back up, 90 degree. Put your hands up. Second set, arms straight and go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And you can let your head relax. There you go. Keeping the back flat. Nice. And try to get those limbs, the ones that are falling to the ground, just a few inches off the ground. Good. See if you can lower that leg a little bit more for me, Matt. That's it. We're halfway with your time. Halfway. Keep your back flat. Movements, medicine, motions, lotion. It's a matter of being consistent with this. Being consistent is key. That's with everything we do. Think about that. Your nutrition plan, your sleeping, your exercise, and hug your knees to chest. Be consistent. Hug the knees right there. Yep, and if you fall on off, off the wagon, you just get back on. Okay, drop your feet, your down, feet down, drop the knees. It's a drop, not a flop. Keep the shoulder blades on the ground, and then go the other side. We've gotta take care of our, our lower back. And those of you looking for that six pack, you know where it starts, Matt? In the kitchen. You know that? Yeah. Yep. I heard a podcast the other day, and I used to say sitting is the new smoking. Now they're saying ultra-processed food is the new smoking. We're eating too much junk. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we're going to flip over. All right, so now we're doing the kneeling bird dog. So the knees are under the hips. The hands are directly under the shoulders. Head's in line with your body. And what you're going to do, Matt, is you're going to lift up opposite arm, opposite leg. Hold for two seconds and then bring it back down and switch on your own. 40 seconds, here we go. And try to keep that leg straight if you can. Yes, come back down. And this is Brussels sprouts for your lower back. Trust me on this one, this is good stuff. So I personally like to put my thumb up because it activates the shoulder girdle. Come back down. And as you mentioned, you had some shoulder stuff going on. So put your thumb up when you bring that arm out. Yes, and come back down, keeping the tummy tight. You're halfway. And I like how he's really reaching. He's reaching, getting those limbs opposite arm, opposite leg. That's it. A lot of us do too much sitting and not enough moving. And if your back is hurting you, this is really gonna help a lot. Let's get one more. 
be consistent with it. Okay, drop your knees, put your knees a little wider for me, Matt, and sink into what's called the child's pose. That's it, crawl your fingers forward, the butt back goes back into the heels the best you can. Some of you might be limited because you're in knee flexion. Hold it right here, and this should feel good. This, this is a great stretch, great yoga move. Okay, one more set, here we go. Hands under the shoulders, we're almost done, this is it. Opposite arm, opposite leg, perfect. You've really improved, Matt. Every cell in your body is saying, thank you. Keeping that stomach nice and tight. And we've got to take care of this whole area. And those of you that are going, hey, how do I get a six pack? Well, it starts in the kitchen, just eating the whole foods, whole real food most of the time, 80% of the time every day and 20% junk, you're doing well. Remember to use my fitness pal or lose it and document everything you eat and drink, even for a week and watch what happens. Be mindful. Keep going, you got 10 more seconds. That's it. Movements medicine, motions lotion, and child's pose. Let's sit all the way back, separate your knees. All the way back, crawl your fingers forward for me, Matt. How's that feel on your back? Good. good, good, good. Now take your hands and crawl them to the right for me. Crawl them to the right and put your left hand on top of the right. Left, nope, the other way, the other left. There you go. And you're gonna feel it right up through here. It's called an angled child's pose. And then crawl to the left side and put your right hand on top of the left. Ah, doesn't that feel good right through here? Yep. Okay, we're gonna end with what's called a cat-cow stretch. So move it back to the middle here. You're gonna tuck your chin like a mad cat. You're gonna arch it up, then look up and drop your hips. This nourishes the spine. Let's get a couple more. How's that feel? All the way up, good. good. And all the way down, last one. All the way up, up, up and drop. Good, perfect. How do you feel for your first Coach Kim workout today? Yeah, good. Awesome. Good. good, good. Well, hope you feel good and keep up the good work and stay tuned for more workouts with Coach Kim.